assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a cartoon cramaganza. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Greetings and good day to ye, Kablammers. Today, we're coming to you from fabulous Colonial Williamsburg. Where you'll get a peek at what life was really like for our nation's founding fathers. So grab your three-cornered hat and join us as we learn a little about history. And boost our ratings the colonial way. Whoops. Looks like our generator's on the fritz. Hey, good sir. Is there somewhere we can plug in around here? Plug in? What mean ye, brother? No, seriously, we're about to run out of electricity. Your words are most foreign to mine ears. Why don't we just go to our first... Guess what, Melanie? Mrs. Stevens gave us an oral report to do, and I'm doing mine on superheroes. You can tell me all kinds of Jet Cat secrets, right? Sure, but I'll have to kill you afterwards. Really? No, not really, Todd. You're my best friend. I'm not gonna kill you. Sheesh! But you'll tell me all your superhero secrets anyway, right? Wrong again, pal. Fine. You know what? I'd rather do my report on a super villain anyway. <gasps> Attention, super villains! Jet Cat's best friend! Ask me about her secrets! Think of my astro skull. Your heart was filled with dread, yes? Uh, I guess. I am Bella Kiss, kidnapping you into my Bella Lair. Go into it now, I refuse your fuss. Go, go, go. <laughs> Bella Kiss? Maybe you ought to consider, you know, an evil alias. Something like Zombor or Baron Lurk. Or how about... I am taking great offense! My name is evil enough! Now is the time for you to reveal to me Jet Cat's superhero secrets! Uh -huh. e yeah, well, did I mention I'm doing a school report on supervillains? I, I could interview you. Interview? Yeah, you could tell the world your side of the story. Well, my class anyway. And so, I arrived in this country, an orphan, nearly six years of age. Cruel children make fun of my name wherever I am going. <laughs> Bella Svela, they would be yelling. Back home, no such trouble. But here... <laughs> I wonder if Todd's seen this one. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. Is Todd there? He's not? Hmm. I can't believe he's skipping Jumbo Head. That's weird. And then my papi says to me, Bella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About letting loose of some juicy supervillain secrets. For instance, what's this button do? Trouble, Nick! You have activated my cartoon interrupting transmitter! I shout at you live on television! Cartoon interrupting? Wow, that is evil. 
Tide? What are you doing in Bella's lair? Supervillain secrets, yes? Okay, Doc. I give you secrets. For your example, this is what an evil genius might do to a nasty lying boy. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is good material. I told you to put away your twisted toys of terror. But I'm not finished playing. Catch! Oh. Uh -oh. Prepare to be jet cuffed, creepy pants. My name is Bella Case. How oh, long you are pinching my evil skin? Ow. Oh, oh, oh! Anytime you're ready, pal. Oh. Jet Cat. Wait a minute. My notebook. Where's my notebook? My notebook! My report is ruined! Oh, that's a shame. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, hi, Mrs. Stevens. Hyenas ate my homework! Todd Johnson, let's hear your report next. Uh, um... Well, you see... Uh, um, sorry I'm late, pal. Now let's get on with that exclusive live interview, shall we? Thanks. You really are a lifesaver. And the best pal a guy could have. Ow! Watch it! <laughs> We're back, kablamming you almost live from Colonial Williamsburg where thanks to some good old-fashioned Yankee ingenuity, we've solved our little electrical problem. Way to go, big guy. <sighs> they may be low on modern conveniences here in the Berg, but there's certainly no shortage when it comes to fun. Right, June? Absolutely, Henry. And what says fun better than freshly churned butter? Hey, how about a taste? Patience is a virtue, good lady. Okay. Henry? I'm with an actual colonial water carrier. Tell me, sir, exactly what is it that you do? I carry water. Dateline, build the lab guy's laboratory, where a genetics genius unveils a molecular miracle. Blimey, I'm seeing double! Ha <laughs> ha. No, Mr. Diver. It's a genetic duplicate created by my very own cloning device. Does it collate too? Quiet, you naked nincompoop! Bill, I don't like it. Not one blasted bit. You're playing with more fire than a fire eater at a fire sale! Spoil sport. Sorry, old friend. But science shouldn't meddle with nature. Now, how about that heart transplant you promised me? Look, guys. You can see yourself. Ow. You action imbeciles will see a lot more of yourselves once I get through with my evil plan. <laughs> action League. Now, today's episode, Tears of a Clone. We find the chief celebrating his successful surgery. Wooey! My arteries are cleaner than a spit valve on a saxophone. Good job, lab guy. Now remember, it's important to keep your stress level down. Ah! Holy mother of mothers! Hi, Chief! Oh, no. 
I was afraid of this. No, you weren't, you pointy-headed geek! I was! You morons! What did you do? We didn't touch anything. Honest. They're eerily accurate in every way. Hey, you! You can say that again! You fellas look familiar. Have we met? Meanwhile, at the Breakable Fine China Depository... Ha <laughs> ha! While those action dupes trip all over themselves, I'll steal all the incredibly breakable fine china in this rickety wagon! Back at Action Headquarters... Finally! Someone to talk to around here. You mates are my kind of blokes. Hey! Quit looking at me cards, you rotter! What? No one calls Stinky Diver a cheater! Ooh. Buy me! Take that! Buy you can't do that to him! Ooh, I mean Ow. me! Ow. Ow. Ow, my hand! Oh, yeah. It's mine! Never hurt! Ah, salad? Trust me, Thunder Thighs. Ah. You don't <laughs> need it! Hey, good looking. How about going break dancing tonight with me, myself, and I? Ooh, ah, yeah, get down. Break this, chumps. Ah! Okay, fellas, spot me. I'm going for the record. Ah! Ouchies! Quit clowning! Huh? Ah! What is it, boys? The mayor has stolen all the incredibly breakable fine china? Blast it! Don't worry, Chief. I'm all over it. Thunder thighs. I mean, Thunder Girl. Away! Ow! Ooh, I called it. You had the front. Is the league outnumbered by its own idiocy? Will his dish honor get away with his fine china chicanery? I tell you, but they won't show me the script. Find out in the action clone conclusion of Action League now. Go wake your Grammy. There's more Kablammy. Still to come, Prometheus and Bob. Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Action League, now double trouble the League in rubble. As a plate-pilfering politician makes his getaway, a lone lab guy must stop the cloning chaos he's created. It's better work, lab guy, or it's back to the pharmacy for you! Moments later... I'm gonna tell! Why, you nitwits! Get your rears in gear! Pronto! You're in more trouble than a barracuda and a bar mitzvah! A ski jumper and a skate shoe! A jackrabbit on the Jersey Turnpike! Now move out! Yes, sir! No problem, boy! Hey, okay Follow me, gang. I know a shortcut. Action League the way! You gotta admit, it is shorter. Who's the lucky boy getting away with all the incredibly breakable fine china? Me! Then again, maybe I'm not so lucky. So that's what they meant by incredibly breakable. Chief, I've learned my lesson. Man should not meddle with nature. What are you, nuts? Thanks to you, the next time I need a new heart, I got ten tickers to choose from. <laughs> the end. Boy, that sure packed an action-stoked wallop, didn't it? The League rules, don't they, Driver? I would rather pluck it out mine eyes than bear witness to such blasphemy. Ouch! We're lucky enough to have with us one of the actors who plays a part in the whole colonial experience. Say hello to... Coachman Goodman Pennywhistle at your service. Right. So, Goodman, how does an actor prepare for the role of a coachman? I prepare as I do every morning, by blessing the abundance of food the harvest has provided. We needeth you to knock off thine act, bub. I am but a simple coachman. No, you're not. You're a lousy third-rate actor who couldn't land a bit part on Babylon 5. Your words confuse me. Oh, yeah? Uh. 
Well, then maybe the name on your driver's license will help clear things up. Unhand my wallet, you knave. Stand and deliver, Mr. <laughs> Goodman Penny Whistle. Coachman. Whose idea was it to come here? Don't look at me. Look at our next cartoon instead. 900,000 years ago, an alien videotaped his attempts to educate a caveman, the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape number 86, Toilet. I didn't think we could top the butter churning, but we did. This is the dullest thing I've ever seen. When you're right, you're right, Henry. Hey, kid. What do you do for fun around here? We wash our clothes with rocks. Hey, do you do that in a pond or something? June, we could go swimming. Swimming leads the soul to trouble. Urgh, trouble, schmubble. Just show us the pond. Last one in's a dirty, rotten red coat. They be naked. Naked, I say. Hey, look. A mob of angry town folk heading this way. You think maybe they're coming for <laughs> adult swim? Phew, summer again. Amazing how fast the seasons change. It doesn't seem that long ago that Loopy and I were out here making snowmen. Or in Loopy's case, a snow lady. So what's with the ice cream? Don't touch! I'm making her brains. Okay, well, go easy on the nuts, Dr. Frozenstein. Don't listen to him, snow lady. You and me are gonna have fun this winter. You bet you're a blizzard we are. Come on, Loopy. I'll race you to the ice rink. Woohoo! Well, I've heard of heat stroke, but Loopy must have had cold stroke. Because she hung out with that big pile of snow all winter long. Loopy, this is fun. Can we do it again tomorrow? Oh, we can do it every day, Snow Lady. We're going to be friends forever. But winter was on its way out, and warmer weather meant sayonara, Snow Lady. Or so we thought. 
Look out, everybody. Barbecue season is here. 50 pounds of frozen steaks coming through. Hey, now, what's she doing in here? But, Dad, she'll melt if I take her out. Now, Pumpkin, I know she's your friend, but it's time to say goodbye. The snow lady's got to go. But, but where? Got the summertime blues? Come on down to Winter World in Dorothy Park. The place to go for snow, snow, snow! Bingo! The next morning, Loopy set off. Wow, so this is summer. Look at all the pretty colors. Yeah, well, summer's gonna be a bummer if we don't get you to Winter World, and fast. <laughs> hey, Hank, can you give us a ride to Winter World? Sure, Loopy, hop in the back. Just gotta make a quick stop along the way. Okay, guys, hang loose while I unload a couple of popsicles. Ooh, what is this place? It's called a beach, Snow Lady. <laughs> Not the kind of place you'd want to... Snow Lady? Loopy, over here. I like the beach. It's so nice and warm here. I feel tingly all over. Snow Lady, you're melting. We gotta get back in the truck. Oh, no! Hey, hey, come back! Need to borrow your wheels, dude. It's an emergency. Loopy. Woohoo! Come on, come on. Hey, Loopy, what's a hot tamale? Snow Lady, wait, don't eat that. Ay, caramba. My stomach's melting. Snow Lady, come on! Hang on, Snow Lady, we're almost there. Uh, Loopy, am I gonna make it? Listen, Snow Lady, we've made it this far. I'm not gonna let you down now. Your attention, please! The Winter World is closing in five seconds! There. Better than ever. Thanks, Loopy. For everything. You don't have to thank me, Snow Lady. That's what friends are for. I... I'm gonna miss you, Snow Lady. Wait. Loopy, listen. I got an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Winter World's latest attraction, Loopy and the Snow Lady! Gosh, June, it's hard to believe that our day in Colonial Williamsburg is almost over. Sure is, Henry. When I think of all the people we've met and the fun we've had... Look at it this way, June. At least something exciting finally happened. Mmm, fresh churned butter. See you next time, Kablamalonials. Could one of you psychos do the honors? Bye! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network.